right, this is another installment of the world's best file naming system. So a lot of we had a lot of questions and a lot of comments about using directories to find files and putting information in the metadata itself and not in the file name. And all of that is good. We fill the metadata in our files fully. We put in keywords, we put in all the copyright information, the address, the contact information, whatever we need to do, we definitely fill the metadata. And again, I still name the file the best way possible because I choose it, because I choose it over not naming the file in a consistent manner. Consistency means that you can find something the same way all the time. If you know it's done a certain way, you can always search for it, even using uh, your finder and or some sort of directory. So we name the files in a certain way, and but we just don't rely on a directory to find them. We give ourselves a good like core uh, method with, with the file name. Now, as far as how to organize the files, our folders um, have the same file name. So in each shoot folder, and again, I'm talking just from a photographer's point of view, in each shoot folder, it has the same name. It has the year, underscore, last name, underscore, first name, underscore, MGP. That's the folder name. In that folder are the DNG or the raw files. I use DNG, that's another video. In that folder is also a viewable set of JPEGs just for easy reference. And we'll often also put the retouch selects that the magazine or the client had asked for in that folder. And then the folders sort themselves in a hierarchical order also because of the year and uh, year, month, and date naming convention that we use, right? So that is our organizational system. That is our directory. You kind of laughed at me for uh, using screenshots, and in the end, I guess it's kind of laughable. But our files were named so well, and our folders were named so well that the screenshots worked. But I'm hooked now on NeoFinder. Somebody recommended NeoFinder as a catalog resource. You have to use something that allows you to pull the drives in and out because we store our raw shoot data on drives. We don't want it on our RAID. We don't want it that much data like clogging up the system. We're doing them on individual drives that are totally backed up and now we're using NeoFinder. We're scanning the drive and we know which drive to grab when we need to find the images we need. So I have to thank you. Um, a couple of you had suggested a couple of cataloging softwares. You were right on. We've switched to it and there you go.